Good morning and welcome back everyone. Today is Friday, June 10th, and today we are in Riga, Latvia. If you are new here, so happy you joined us. My name is Jordan. I am a professional figure skater and I'm currently working on board a cruise ship. I am currently on the Voyager of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. And yeah, today we are in Riga, Latvia. We had an overnight here yesterday to today and I wasn't able to get off yesterday because we had two shows and we didn't arrive till quite late. So there just wasn't enough time for me to make it into the town, but... I am up in Adam. I woke up early and got myself ready for a full day of adventure. And I'm so, so, so excited. I've never been to Riga or Latvia in general. So new day, new country, and very, very excited for the day. The forecast does say rain, but it is around 60 degrees. So I am wearing this little short sleeve. I'm gonna try and manifest better weather and then I'm just gonna wear my leather jacket over top but yeah I'm gonna get off by myself today just kind of walk around the old town it looks really really beautiful from what I've seen also my tattoo has healed really nicely from Stockholm um, but it is a little dry so I just had to put some lotion on it but very happy with how that turned out if you haven't seen that vlog I got granted short leave and the first thing I did was get a tattoo so a little bit impulsive but I absolutely love my tattoo and it's a really fun vlog, so check it out. It's nearly 9 o'clock, so let's head on to the gangway and get off the ship. We're on the shuttle bus. We haven't left the ship yet. It's about a 20 to 30 minute trip into the city, I think. But look who's here. Didn't even plan it. I just got on the bus, went to sit at the front, and then I saw him in the back, like, with his little camera. have made it into Riga. We just got off the bus and not really sure where we're going. We're just walking and we're gonna go and explore the city. And Gab's back there vlogging as well. This is pretty. It says no cameras. Yes, live music. Just for us, it's a private show. Gab is in dying need of coffee. He is not. Well, doing usually anything. I have an espresso on the ship just to get to my first cup. <laughs> <laughs> now I had nothing. Jacket's off shades are on. It is so warm out and the sun is beaming. And it was supposed to rain, I told you. Life is too short for ugly shoes. I agree wholeheartedly. It's just a souvenir shop. <laughs> okay. He is grumpy, hangry. It's so quiet so far, but also Scandinavia starts later. Europe starts on a different timeline than us Westerners do.
His cappuccino looks phenomenal. It's now, I... guys, my grumpiness is over. <laughs> Finally. We did get the worst. It's about time. The worst writer. <laughs> Stop it. Be nicer. No, it's probably he's probably new. It's his first time. Gotta give him a chance. You did not give him a single chance. I know. The but second I was you grumpy. sat down, you were like, just worry to him. I'm sorry. I'm just staring, I'm just Anyways, staring at this man. <laughs> I got a double espresso because I asked for almond milk or oat milk, and he said we had none. So I got an espresso. The sugar's in a little cube. How cute is that? This is literally so basic, but sugar cube. Bye. Are you, you have to break it or something. No, it's supposed to be hot and melt it. I don't think it's working. <laughs> okay. Back to life. Much better. His personality's back. Beautiful day, beautiful life. Cheers, friends. Yeah, that guy's probably just hung over. He might be. One hour later. We just had the worst waiter, I think, of I my grumpy. entire life. I was grumpy. <laughs> and I, at first I was like, yeah, give him, give him a chance because he was just grumpy and hungry and needed coffee. But this guy really was no, something no. else. Um, so bad. Which like, I tried to be so patient, but... No, at one point it was just like, okay, over being patient. Everything Thing that could have gone wrong made went a mistake wrong. Every 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 step of the way. Like there was not one. All right of his thing. whole meal was wrong. But it's okay. All he can do is laugh. It's okay. We're gonna go inside this church right here. We saw Pasha and Alex and they said it's magnificent on the inside. And then we're gonna go to the Holocaust Museum. That's the plan, and then maybe we'll grab another coffee. I definitely don't need more caffeine because I've had like 400 milligrams of caffeine probably today. Anyways, we're gonna go in the church. Look at how large and in charge she is. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but the church cost 10 euros to go in. I didn't know there was an entry fee. Whoa! Almost just got hit by an electric scooter. <laughs> Anyways, the church cost 10 euros admission, and I didn't know. Home. Now almost just got hit by a car. Down the street with her. Each time I talk, I almost get hit by something, whether it's a scooter, car, bike. We didn't actually fully go inside, so it's fine. There's many other churches to be seen. And now we're gonna walk to the Riga Ghetto and Latvian Holocaust Museum. I'm really, really, really excited to see this because the Holocaust was my favorite time period, and World War II in general was my favorite time period to learn about in school. We'll see how I feel. I might get emotional in there. But yeah, we're walking there now and it's like 15 minutes away, so see you soon. Run, boy, run! I'm just doing it! <laughs> Need for speed! Tears have already started. It's really hard to see so many names.
have left the museum, I'm feeling quite heavy, like leaving there. Um, was a very, very powerful museum. I definitely recommend it if you are ever in Riga. And I definitely cried quite a few times. So my heart feels really heavy right now, but I am very grateful for that experience. And now Gab and I have just walked to the market, which was not too far from the museum. So there's some flowers outside and I think there's also more things inside as well. This market is huge actually. <gasps> Friday. Fresh vegetables. Edamame. Strawberries. These cherries look phenomenal. Market. <gasps> Look at the cheese. Mm, cheese. Oh my goodness. I just need to point out how large this lemon is. I have a small hand, but still, like, come on. This is huge. I'm gonna get blueberries because I'm addicted and deprived of them on the ship. And they're like two euros. Do you think I have enough berries, guys? Just a gal and her bloobs. He's on his seventh apricot. I'm gonna have diarrhea later. <laughs> I cannot put that in. Why not? <laughs> it's true. We just stumbled upon this art gallery, so we're gonna head on in. This is the St. Peter's Church, I believe. And we're gonna try and go to the top because we saw people up there. And I'm having such a good day with Gab. Like, I was planning on getting off alone. I didn't even know what he was up to today. And then we just ran into each other. Gab just put his salary at seat card into this sketchy ATM machine <laughs> to try and get to the top of the church. Uh, okay. Uh, how much do we need? Available denominations at ATM. 5, 10, 20, 50, 20. We have made it to the top and it is absolutely breathtaking. The views are incredible and worth every penny. Um, we paid seven euros per person to come up here and the elevator took us straight up and it's so It's so beautiful. So cool. We have such a nice view of the entire city set up a tent here <laughs> camp. He's just gonna sleep here until next next port of calls here. We are headed to meet up with Pasha and Alex in Gleb and we're gonna have a drink and then we're gonna make our way back to the ship because all aboard is at five o'clock and it's 2.22 right now, hello angel number. So maybe have a glass of wine and just enjoy. This has been such an eventful, beautiful, amazing, incredible, spectacular day. made it back 
back on board. I'm a little bit wet because it's downpouring, but great news. I got my blueberries on. So I have a lot of blueberries. I am stocked up for quite some time now. And now I have blueberries for my oatmeal, which I'm super excited about. I had such a fun day. I am so glad that I ran into Gab on the shuttle bus going into the city because like I said before, I didn't text him to see what he was up to. I thought maybe we would meet up for lunch or something, but I was planning on just having like a solo day and I had the best time with him. I mean, we always do. But yeah, it was such a fun day. Breakfast was just hilarious. Exploring, going to the museum was really, really amazing. Super glad that I did that with him. Going up to the top of the tower was also spectacular and then ending the day with a drink and getting to meet up with Pasha and Alex and Gleb was really nice as well. So all around 10 out of 10 day. Also the weather held out amazingly. Like it was supposed to rain the entire day. When I woke up this morning, it was raining. And then when we got off, it was overcast, but the sun came out almost immediately. So we were super fortunate to have good weather the whole day. And it just started raining like once we were settled at that restaurant and then when we were walking back to the shuttle, but I'm very content. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my day. I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day just because we have a show tomorrow and I'm a little bit tired from all the walking. So I think I might take the day off of gym just to rest and maybe like snuggle into bed, watch a movie. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for all your love and support and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.